Gregor Artero here with the Prometheus Initiative. So, uh, it's a full moon. This evening I've been putting together this crazy little contraption we got going here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna explain. I'm also here with uh, Leo. He's a, a kitty. We got hitchhiking coming back from Arizona. We found him in Syracuse, right, Leo? He's a little tired. He got uh, his second round of vaccines. So, uh, let me think of. We really don't want to get vaccines for my kids, should we give them to our pets? But, you know, rabies. It's rabies, so... Hmm, something to think about. Well, so let's explain what, what's happening right here. What I'm working with right now is Ormus, and I'm trying to make a very Ormus concentrated water to use for my device. Hopefully, it will be very diagnostic, and we will experiment with it and see what happens. Um, I plan to be also doing this with water. Here, Leo, I'm gonna go sit down the kitty. Hold on one second. Alright. And extract it that way, being I'm right next to the largest uh, saltwater marsh in Maine, and also I'm right on the coast, I'm five minutes from it. So, supposedly on a full moon, um, the energies of a full moon cause Ormus to disassociate with the water and come into the air. And so, um, it's in the air. I have the window open to outside, so this isn't like a closed system. Keep this door shut. Um, and basically I have a high vacuum pump. You could ease your way to do this. This guy's a little powerful. I have it in reverse because that is where the vacuum is. Um, you could actually do Ormus another way. But we're just putting a magnet there. And if you have a chamber, it pulls all the air out. Technically it would be the Ormus in the air. Or uh, the low vacuum air. Um, what I'm doing differently is I'm just using this for an air pump. You'd be able to do this a lot easier with, uh, I have one over here, um, but a aquarium pump, um, and you just need, you just need to pump air into water, and that air has Ormus, and so what I'm doing here is, well first, this has three quartz crystals on the bottom, I'm just sort of taping down, so like that, nothing nothing special, so a little triangular format with this organite cone sitting on top, the idea is it's just to pull the air in, and to hopefully also charge it at the same time, um, so the air comes down, into this. This, this is a like a magnetic um, pyramid layout. We have four magnets, two um, north. I can't remember if it's north north, but they're opposing, so north north south south. And in this, we have. Um, I can actually turn you off for a second. Um, pull this guy up. So this right here is a two coffee filters, pieces of this foam I have right here, and then magnetite, powdered magnetite. You can see how. One experiment failed, and I have like magnetite everywhere in this sink. I'm gonna pop this guy back onto here. All right, and turn it back on. All right, you should have no air leakage. So the idea is the air is getting pumped in the wire to so come up through the water. We have four magnets um, that are going to repel the diamagnetic ormus um, and then we have magnetite which has to come up through and there doesn't, there's a little, it's probably the slightest bit of air leak on this side but otherwise the air has to come up through the magnetite filter essentially um, but you also have the four magnets around uh, so the idea being um, it prevents the ormus from going out with the air and it disassociates or associates, I don't know what you call it, back into the water. I'm just using distilled Poland spring water, being Poland springs from Maine. Um, some reason I saw it was recommended to use distilled water. Um, I don't see why you couldn't use anything else. But uh, yeah, and so I'm gonna have this guy run all night, and then hopefully in the morning I'll have some very interesting Ormus powder. And uh, yeah, cool, very cool. And then there's also ways to use. Um, We'll take some of this and then get a uh, lye, sodium hydroxide, and see if I can get some dry powder out of it. And if I do, I know this thing has worked exceptionally well. Especially if I take some distilled water and do the dry uh, lye with it, and then this, and see the difference in um, how much more concentrate it does. Oh, there's cute little Leo again. Oh yes, you're awesome. You want attention. You want attention. Well, so... There's this. I've had some, several ideas on how about to go about this um, machine. I'm going to be making one to use water, so keep pumping water through it. I have a 200 year old, at least 200 year old well behind my house that hasn't been used for a century. Um, and it's sort of flooded. 
Might use the water back there, might go to the ocean. Um, Saltwater Marsh is actually like a quarter mile behind my house. Um, so I have a lot of resources to collect Ormus at the moment. If anyone else can chime in on Ormus and what they think about it, that would be awesome. I've heard different things. I ran into a guy in Portland who's been using it every day and does a lot with Tesla coils and knew quite a bit actually. Otherwise, it's nice to hear a first-hand uh, experience from someone else with their experience with Ormus. And he gave me a huge thumbs up and swears by it. Um, so, yeah. Cool. The, uh, the pyramid. Uh, magnetic air trap. And if you didn't realize it, because these are opposing magnets, with the magnetite in the center, which will respond to all four of them, Technically, it's the vortex geometry of a pyramid. Very cool. All right, ciao. Enjoy this full moon. Crazy stuff's about to happen. Seven, next 72 hours, crazy stuff. Just you wait. Trust me. The Earth is about to go, whoa, with energy. Because the coronal mass ejection is hand says, there's the very moment. All this energy coming from the sun. The full moon's just an amplifier. And, and I can feel it. It's just like jittery. It's in the air. It's pretty cool. Hopefully, I'll be able to hor harvest a, a lot of Ormus with this little guy right here. Thank you and signing off. Bye.